me to just sort of run through the whole thing? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, and it's, three, it's a three channel, uh, 2500 watt second pack, and you've got the choice of splitting that energy 1000, 1500, or if you have two heads, you can go 1500 and 1000, or you can go 1250, 1250. So it's just all the combinations are there to you know, use all the power of the pack. Um, actually, before you go on with the quad X, you were able to put like what, 2,000, 2,000 watt seconds into one channel, or was it all 3,000 on one channel? You can put 3,000 in one channel on the quad X. This is 2,500 on one channel. Oh, so you can do 2,500 all Oh, sure. Oh, okay. okay. So we can that. Um, we've got some little, simple little features. Uh, if you want to meter the lights or just turn the light off rather than unplug it, you can just switch it on and off. Okay. It's very straightforward. Um, Ten for the stop accuracy, so we've got independent control on all the channels. One nice feature is that we've got a master control, so we can take the, the uh, channels up and down. And so obviously the software is there to give you this graphical display. Again, it's kind of fairly intuitive as to how the uh, power of the lamps is, uh, is being set. You've got the power just being displayed there in joules, and you also have a flash duration figure. And then on, the, on this side of the menu, it's reflecting the status of the switches. So we have modeling, which is done by this switch here. Okay. Just toggle through the modeling. So it updates there. Audio is just a simple switch on and off. We have a photo cell, which again is reflected on the screen, switched on and off. We have a speed, um, because this has a uh, switch mode charging circuit, it means it can operate on a really poor power supply, poor mains. Or if it's on a good main supply, it can run very fast in terms of recycling. Okay. So that's a key benefit. Then we have a bracketing button. We can go to bracketing, very straightforward. And as I mentioned, this, this little switch here, uh, you can operate in tenths. You can operate in three tenths if you want to, or half stop increments. Okay. Just a simple thing. Um, obviously it's a graphical display, so there are other features that you can put in there. So we press the menu button. Great. Now we're into sort of system of menus, uh, telling you how many flashes it's done. You know, we can save things to memory, load things from memory, service details, uh, all sorts of things. So say it's a prototype, so these, these things are not necessarily finished. I guess while playing with it earlier on, like uh, one thing I noticed that uh, is missing is like individual control of modeling light for each channel. Is that something that will be back in it? Like, no, we just fully released. Took that out. Um, okay. Purpose really. Uh, some people found it confusing, and I got the impression it wasn't particularly um, used that often. Oh, okay. So that's why we was taken out on this pack. I see. So we could put it in, but um, if I do so, it will be probably in, you know, in the menu somewhere, great detail. The idea of the thing was to keep it as simple as possible. Right. Although it's got quite a you know, sort of technical looking uh, display, right. the controls are very you know, ergonomic, very easy to get to, yeah. very self-explanatory. I like the dial uh, The other aspect of it, it's got an ergonomic handle, What's to carry? All the cables are at the back. Yeah. It's quite nice. I guess in terms of weight too, are they just similar in weight? Then? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it seems volume is a little bit smaller, maybe, or yeah, volume is smaller for sure. Okay. So it's about uh, give me as much as twenty five percent actually. Oh, okay. Maybe. Excellent. I guess um, there's one or thing too. Uh, I guess I, why do away with the other, I guess well there are now three asymmetric oh, yeah. channels, but um, I guess that now you only have three plugs as opposed to four. Yeah, you yeah. notice that people just didn't use the last plug then? No, I mean, to be honest, uh, this is sort of a standard studio pack. Right. Now we have this one. Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned the other feature is the plug-in radio. We, um, okay. Yeah, we, we've got uh, these modules that you can purchase. Um, plug-in pulsar or plug-in pocket wizard. Okay. So you lift the rubber part, plug one of these in, and you've got a radio trigger. Oh, great. Um, 
going back to the, your question, the, uh, this was very much designed as a studio tag. Right. This one's more targeted to the uh, fashion photography, that type of thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a different sort of mindset behind the design, if you like. Um, but there, yeah, obviously there's a lot of overlap in terms of functionality, so when this product comes out, you know, the consumer will have a choice really of this one or this one. Okay, so this isn't replacing the Quad X, it is, it is going to be sold alongside it? In the first instance it will be sold alongside it and then we'll just see how things go really. Oh, okay, I see. So, uh, this is, some people might still like to have 3,000 watt seconds, particularly for studio. Right, right.